moment of silence I just want you to meditate upon the goodness of the Lord everything that he has gotten you through you know your personal testimonies when your back was against the wall when the enemy rose up against you like a flood how the enemy rose how the Lord raised up a standard and delivered us from them all I want you to just give the Lord thanks Give the Lord a shout of praise. Lift up your voice now and just say them, Holy, holy are you, Lord. Holy, holy are you, Lord. You are in this place, O Lord. And this place is holy. Oh, Open your mouth right now and just worship the Lord. Declare that He is here. He is welcome here. He is welcome in our hearts. He is welcome in this sanctuary. Come on, just open your mouth and worship the Lord. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. We are standing on holy ground and I know that there are angels all around let us pray Now, for we are 
Christ standing in His presence on holy ground. When Moses had an encounter with the Lord, the ground did not change, but it changed in the spiritual realm. The, thorn, the thorns were still there. The rocks were still there. Every bush that was there before Moses got there was still there. But what made the difference was the presence of the Lord in the place. The Lord told him, take off your shoes because those rocks you are stepping on have just changed. The only thing that made the difference is the presence of the Lord. And I want to declare to you this morning that the Lord is here. The Lord is here. Amen. This is a holy ground. Now I want you to sing this song with a revelation. That this is a holy ground. Amen. Help me make this declaration. That this is holy ground. Help me sing. We are standing and saying. We are standing. We are standing on holy ground. And I know that there you have the revelation. are angels, there are angels all, around. all around. Let us praise. Let us praise. Jesus now. Jesus now. We are standing. We are standing in His presence. Take us higher. Take us higher. We sing. the click. I want us to sing. We are standing. Raise up your voice and sing. On holy ground. And I know. And I know that there are angels. Oh, Let us praise Jesus now, Jesus now, we are standing, we are standing in His presence on oh, no. Now I'm going to ask the band to play this one last time. And as we do that, I want you to just open up your heart to the Lord. Ask Him to come and speak to us this morning. To come and sanctify our hearts this morning. To come and make our hearts receptive of His word. To take away any resistance, anything that is in our hearts that may, may, may act as a roadblock, as a resistance, as a hindrance against His move. Amen. 
Hallelujah. So just open up your hearts. Open up your hearts. Open up your mouths and speak to the Lord. Tell him you are welcome in this place. You are welcome in this place. You are welcome in our hearts. Come and speak to us, O Lord. Ramadere Bahade Shanda Ramahade Shika. We welcome you in this place, O Lord. Ramahide Let's play it one last time, sing we are standing. We are standing on holy ground. And I know that every angel all Oh, 
proud and we separate this praise only for you in the name of Jesus in the name of Jesus hallelujah we worship you Lord we exalt you hallelujah every one of us wherever we are if we can stand up on our feet right now just want you to lift up your head right now towards heaven if you will please this is moment like no other hallelujah this is a deliverance service hallelujah glory be to god glory be to jesus glory be to jesus i want you to open up your mouth right now I want to tell the Lord, remember me and remember my family. There is an altar that God, angels, because this will be a divine activity of the presence of God in this service today. If I were you, I would just hold on my children because if you know the things that God has shown me about this, your lies, you will know this is not just a normal service in the name of the Lord. If you can clap a family wherever you are and tell the Lord please God remember me as you pass on this house today in the mighty name of the Lord come on now in Jesus name there is an altar that is reflecting the altar of God in heaven and if you read Revelation chapter 8 and verse 13 the Bible says that the angels were given fragrance and that fragrance was mingled with the prayers there is an altar that our angels of God are descending and ascending in this house. Come on night now in Jesus name. Cry for your family. This is not a normal service. Cry for your house. Cry for any bodies to be broken right now. Even if they are not here together with you in the mighty name of Jesus remember them. Ramashanda Rabana Kayande Mandarina Yasatai Bodhi Saira Ramashanda in the mighty name of Jesus in the mighty name of Jesus hallelujah father hallelujah just lift those hands together towards heaven lifting hands of hand is a sacrifice of sacrifice as you tell the Lord come down come down come down come down come down in my life come down in my family receive the Holy Spirit of the living God Receive the working of the Holy Spirit in the mighty name of Jesus. Ramashanda Rarabonia, Rikaya Taibana, Kuria Rana Izana, Ramama Sataibana Koto, Ramaka Taibania. The thing that you have been struggling with, rather be broken from today in the mighty name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Ramama Kantarima Sabana, Mareka. Let the Holy Spirit of the living God Let him walk in your life Let him break the yokes Let burden be lifted Let sickness go Let everything demonic disappear At the presence of the living God Hallelujah, hallelujah Ramatandari rasia bakada Mandere zia ramatai shieloma Rakatai rasitiri mazia In the mighty name of Jesus We glorify your name Jesus We worship you Lord Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah Hallelujah, hallelujah Rakata zia mashandere zia bakada Irabarie masia bakai rasiti in Jesus name in Jesus name hallelujah rama masia bana rikeke terima sataraba basuka mashaba makata rama makati resete rima shatai bana kutuba hatai masete reba kiti mabapa hashata ha heta makuta mazi hosa kaya maka hele masia makanda rabaya rima saira sita ramasia hali shatai ba roma sikia kandere rebo biya satari maria saire rama shatai 
Nderele Masaira Harasa Taibana Zuma Zama Zina Rataba Namakasi Abakane Rebo Tairari Ashadarabana In the mighty name of Jesus We give you praise We give you praise We give you praise Lord We give you praise We give you praise We give you praise We give you praise Lord Hallelujah Hallelujah Glory be to God Glory be to Jesus Glory be to God Hallelujah Oh we thank you Jesus We bless your holy name Hallelujah 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 Thank you Lord Thank you Jesus Thank you Jesus Thank you Lord Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. To God be the glory. To God be the honor. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. This morning. Hallelujah. I don't know how this service will go, but the Holy Spirit woke me up at 2 a.m. this morning. And so I was traveling in prayer. Some minutes to one o'clock, some minutes to seven o'clock. I was praying, I was praying because I've had several visitations from the Lord in the last 21 days, but this one, before we settle down, before we sit down, because this touching everyone, and I was, we were in a very, I was in a very, very deep cave, very, very, very deep and dark cave. And I saw lives, I saw hands. And the amazing things was these hands were held together, flesh hands, and hands that have gone for decades and decades because some of them were just skeleton. And you could see these are people who had died a long time ago. And they were bound together. And as I continued to pray, I was not in a dream. As I continued to pray, I started to see ropes that held those hands breaking one after the other. Hallelujah. And this is it because the fresh hands, when they were, des when they were removed from the hands, ancient, old, and dark, and ugly. When those ropes started falling after the other, I saw us ushering to an open cave and there was a great right for the people who were alive. And I believe these are generation curses that have been following us, joining us together with the day ages and the people who have died a long time ago. That's why I said this is a deliverance service. And there are things that you could be struggling with for years and years. But I am here to pronounce and to announce the yoke that have been holding you and the chain that have been holding you. It is broken in the mighty name of the Lord. I say it is broken in the mighty name of Jesus. Come on right now in the name of the Lord. I want you because let me tell you, you can be loosed, but still declare. If you don't declare with your mouth, I want you to remember from today that the yokes of your suffering could be diseases, could be general curses, could be cycles, could be things that people probably, the people you are named after who have been suffering the same fate. I want you to know from today that you are set free Amen. in the mighty name of the Lord. Amen. Hallelujah. Right now in Jesus. Jesus name I want you to open up your mouth and declare in the name of Jesus I am loosed in the name of the Lord 
say I am loosed in the name of Jesus. I am loosed in the name of Jesus. I am loosed in the name of Jesus. Rakasa taima kandara raboriye. Come on now, open up your mouth right now. Declare in the name of Jesus. Could there be a disease? Could there be a cancer? Could there be a psycho? In the mighty name of Jesus, you are loosed. You are loosed. We are releasing you. We are releasing you. In the mighty name of the Lord. Rakatana masia bana. Barakataira masia bono. Rakataira masia bana. Rekeketele marie zaya. In the mighty name of Jesus. I am loosed in the name of the Lord. I am released in the name of Jesus. I am loosed. I am loosed. I am loosed. I am loosed. In the name of Jesus. Your children might not even have an idea of what is happening. But you as a parent, I want you to take the initiative. I want you to cry on behalf of them and declare the Asian race. The power of the enemy is broken, is broken in the mighty name of the Lord. It's broken in the mighty name of Jesus. Broken, Receive, receive your deliverance. Receive your deliverance. The bondage has been broken. The yoke is broken. The bondage is broken. In the mighty name of Jesus, you are free. You are free. You are free in Jesus' name. You are free in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Receive children in the name of the Lord. Receive marriages in the name of the Lord. Your destiny is loosed. Your career is loosed. The marriage has been broken. Yes, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Father, we honor you. Father, we thank you. Father, we praise you. Father, we adore you. Oh, you are worthy. You are worthy. You are worthy. In Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. This is holy ground. And we bless the Lord. Hallelujah. Put your hands together one more time and give God a clap offering in the name of Jesus. Amen and amen. Please have your seat in the graces of the Lord. Thank you, ministers. Thank you. Thank you. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Amen. Praise the Lord. It's good to see each and every one of you. How are you? <laughs> Amen. Uh, it has never taken us <laughs> that long to be in a church like today. <laughs> but we want just to bless the Lord and exalt his holy name. Hallelujah. Amen. I said amen. amen. Good to see you. Good to see you. Good to see you. I, I was saying that uh, I had never taken me such a long time to be in the to come and uh, there have been one frustration from another, but I'm so glad that we are here today to dine from the table of the Lord this morning. Hallelujah. The devil has been really, really trying to frustrate me. And uh, this started all the way from Kenya. And uh, when I was coming that morning, the Lord led me to the chapter, uh, Acts chapter 28. And Acts 20, 28, for those people who know the word of the Lord, it talks about a storm. And uh, <laughs> I totally believe sometimes the enemy hits you and wants to destroy you. Basically more, not because of you, but because probably of God or God's mission he has given you. And uh, as we were just coming, we hit some turbulence I've never felt until people in the prayer started screaming. And I felt as if the enemy was coming after me. Because <laughs> the Lord has woken me up and given me Acts 28. And have never been in a fright that it had been hit that way. I felt like we were going to die. 
But uh, thank God. And this morning, I just was telling my wife after prayer because I woke up at 2 a.m. in the morning. 2 a.m., that's when the Holy Spirit woke me up. And after doing a lot of spiritual warfare, because I believe there are a lot of things that God is doing and God is going to do in this house. And I just, I just feel, I don't know whether I was asleep or whether I wasn't. And then uh, I felt as the bees were in my loom. Bees were in the loom, and I, I kept on praying and kept on praying, and they disappeared. And I believe it's the enemy trying to attack here and there, but he, is always, he always come when it's too late. In the name of the Lord, amen. And I really want to thank God. God has been gracious to us for the last 21 days. How many of us have survived? Praise the Lord, amen, 21 days. And uh, we were back, and uh, I just felt like uh, I really needed to go somewhere and just spend time with the prayers of the Lord. And there are people who praise, my friends. There are people who praise. People go for 40 days without food. Hallelujah. There are people who praise and call the name of the Lord. And uh, there are a few places where there is a lot of grace for that, and we want to bless the Lord. And uh, I feel today, my word, I don't know how I'm going to preach this. I don't know how we're going to do it, but we're going to trust the Holy Spirit. Somebody say amen. So there are a few things that I believe they are holding because there are some few things that God told me that are holding blessing in people's lives. And I just want to go to my scripture, to my sermon today. If you can, please, if you can, don't just move. Just be still. If you don't have to move, don't move. Just still, just be still. Please, let's give honor the princess of God. Let's honor the princess of God. If it's a, you know, let's do that, please. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you. If you can, please, let's just respect that for today. Thank you. If you, if you have to, then you can, but please, let's, let's just because I believe this is a, a, a new service. Hallelujah. And uh, I just want to speak some few things, and then we're going to pray together. Amen. This is why we called, and we say, let us be together as a family, because there are some things that we are dealing with. How many of us were blessed by the uh, ministry of uh, Pastor Raphael? Amen. Pastor Raphael. Actually, Pastor Raphael was meant to be in this house today, but the Holy Spirit spoke to me and told me there is difference between a gift and authority. And it's good to be, to be spoken to, but remember, before Gideon could have go to fight, he had to destroy some altars, and altars are destroyed with authority, not gifts. So you could be spoken to, and you could be given a prophetic word, just like Gideon was given what he can be able to do, a deliverer who was a victim and a part of the people who were supposed to, de to deliver. But he, before he could go to minister, there were some things that he had to destroy. Because let me tell you, brethren, they are altars. Somebody say altars. And these altars, they speak, and the altars are the platform in the spiritual realm where we do spiritual warfare. Amen. And these are like a military base. Because in this military base, it depends on which altar is greater than the other altar. And I want you to remember in 2 Kings chapter 3, the Bible talks about uh, Joram. Joram was a son of Naboth. And the Bible talks about that they went to fight a king in Moab. And when they went to fight the king in Moab, the Bible says three of them, the king of Jehoshaphat, the, the Joram, who was the king of Samaria, and then he was also a king of Eden. And both of them, three of them, they were going to fight. And they seek the name, uh, they sought from the man of God whether they could go and fight. And they were told, yes, you're going to go and fight. And when you go and go and fight, fight, the Lord you deliver the, the Moabites to you. But when you follow that story in 2 Kings chapter 3 and verse 26 and verse 27, you fight they were not given the land. Why? Because the king of Moab knew something. That king of Moab, when he saw, king, when he saw that he could not fight, what did he do? He took his own son who was supposed to be heir of the throne and sacrificed him. And when he sacrificed him, because of the level, because an altar is a place where we offer sacrifices, and the stronger the sacrifice, the greater the altar. And I want to announce this morning in the name of Jesus, there is a great altar than all altars. 
And that is the altar of Jesus Christ. And from this altar, we're going to wage what's preview, spiritual warfare. And things will come tumbling down in the mighty name of the Lord. Hallelujah. So praise the Lord. Amen. So let me allow me to speak this uh, in a very brief way. Now, God encounters. Hallelujah. Because if there is something that we need after 21 days of fasting and prayer, we need an encounter with God. How many of us know that we need an encounter? Glory be to God. God encounters. And God, the Bible talks about this. It's a long, 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 long reading, and I will read it wherever I can. If I don't, that's fine. We're going to throw the way you, because there are some few things that I feel strongly that the Lord is telling us before he take us into the next level, there are some things we have to deal with. Because most of the time we talk about fighting the enemy, but we don't tell ourselves where are the areas that we have opened for the enemy to hold on to what we need. Because it's very, very sad when we pronounce our God who is a great God, a mighty man of Vera, and still we continue to experience some tragedies and some defeats in our lives. Somebody say amen. So we need to know where are the hedges, where are the places that we have around the enemy, because I believe this year is a new show year. You didn't believe me, but I'll come on this side. This year is not just like any other normal year. This is a different year. Now the Bible says, the Bible says, now he had to go through Samaria. So he came down, he came, so he came to a town in Samaria called Sychar, near the plot of ground Jacob had given to his son Joseph. Jacob's well was there, and Jesus, tired as he was from the journey, sat down by the well. It was about noon when a Samaritan woman came to draw water. Jesus said to her, will you give me a drink? The Bible says his disciples had gone into the town to buy food. The Samaritan woman said to him, you are a Jew and I'm a Samaritan woman. How can you ask me of a drink? For Jews do not associate with Samaritans. The Bible says, and Jesus answered, and Jesus answered her, if you knew the gift of God, and who is it is that ask you for a drink? You would have asked him and he would have given you living water. Sir, the woman said, you have nothing to draw with and the well is deep. Where can you get this living water? Are you greater than our father Jacob who gave us the well and drank from it himself? As did also his son and his livestock. Jesus answered, Everyone who drinks this water will be, will, thirst, will be thirsty again. But whoever, whosoever drinks the water I give them will never thirst. Indeed, the water I give them will become in them a spring of water welling up to the eternal life. The woman said to him, Sir, give me this water so that <coughs> I won't get thirsty. And I have to keep, <coughs> sorry, and I won't get thirsty and have to keep coming here to draw water. He told her, go, call your husband and come back. I have no husband, she replied. Jesus said to her, you are right. When you say that you have no husband, the fact is you have had five husbands and the man whom now you have is not your husband. What you have, ju what you have just said is quite true. Sir, the woman said, I can see you're a prophet. Our ancestors worshipped on this mountain, but you Jews claim that the place where we must worship is in Jerusalem. Woman, Jesus replied, believe me, a time is coming when you, when you will worship the Father, neither on this mountain nor, on Jer nor in Jerusalem. You Samaritans worship what you do not know. We worship what we do know. For salvation is from the Jews. Yet a time is coming and has now come when the true worshiper will worship the Father in the spirit and in truth. For they are kind of worshipers the Father is seeking. God is the spirit and his worshipers must worship him in the spirit and in truth. The woman said, I know the Messiah called Christ is coming. Then he, when he comes, he will explain everything to us. Then Jesus declared, I am the one who is speaking to you. I am here. And I pray you are not looking for something. 
that is already available for you. Glory be to God. Now, the Bible tells us about the woman and tells us about a need. And the Bible talks about thirstiness of the society. Hallelujah. And in this house, I want to declare in the mighty name of Jesus that uh, like this woman, all of us, we have a certain thirsty. And this kind of thirsty, as I have put there, thirstiness is an identified issue that traps us within a certain behavior. And let me say this because thirstiness does not discriminate. It does not care your status. It does not care your academic level. It doesn't care whether your agenda. Every one of us, there is a need if we don't identify and be able to address it. It traps us and we keep on coming to refill from a certain thing that really do not quench the thirst. And I believe going forward in this year, we have to identify the needs and the needs that we know, and the especially things that are happening over and over again. Because this lady had a certain thirst. And this thirst, instead of her looking for a cure, she was trapped in a process. Because even when the master came and told us, he said, please give me this drink that you are saying. So that I may quench my thirst and not keep on coming here. Because every time I keep on coming here... I have a budget I have, to pay, I have to pay, and yet I am not quenched, I have not quenched my thirst. And I do not know what kind of a thirst you have. But I want to say this in the name of Jesus. If we don't identify the kind of problem, because when you're talking about thirstiness, we are talking about a kind of problem that only God can be able to meet. You see, brother and sisters, you were not meant to live outside God. There is a wholeness in each and every one of us that cannot be filled by any other thing beside God. Even if you acquire some stuff, they can satisfy for a while, but uh, they have grown, grown old. You still come back and you fight, even if it's a car. After getting old, it can satisfy for about or a month or two, but after some time, you still fight, I need another car. Is that it is acquisition, if it's finances, whatever it is, you still find there is something deeper within me. Hallelujah. And that's why you find people are trapped in certain behaviors. Some of us, we never rest. We never rest. You find that Jesus himself, the Bible says, he lasted. And when he left you know, on the, you know, on that, by that well, you find he disprocreates the work of Calvary. Not only the work of Calvary, but even after seven to six days, when God created the heaven and the earth, the Bible says on the seventh day, he rested. Resting is a sign of accomplishment and fulfillment. And some of us, we never settle. And whenever you find you are grinding like a machine 24 hours and not living according to your design, and according to your purpose, you are fulfilling something. You are trying to fulfill something that can only be fulfilled by God. And I pray this year in the name of Jesus, you will know how to pose. And you know that I am more than what I am doing. I am better than this. Somebody say amen. And that, that's the next issue because when you try to, uh, to fulfill that hunger of God in you, you find that you'll be doing a zero work. After some time, you still come back to it again. The Bible tells us in the, in the Bible tells us in Matthew chapter 5 and verse 6. Matthew and verse 6, the Bible says, bless are those who hunger and thirst for righteousness, for they shall be few. Somebody say amen. Amen. Because let me tell you, God does not want us to be hungry and to be thirsty with the long things. God wants us to be thirsty and to be able to love and like the things that God likes himself. Because God does not tell you not to be thirsty, but he tells you on what to be thirsty about. Somebody say amen. And some of us right now, in the mighty name of Jesus, when you talk about being thirsty, for the things of God is putting God as priority in your life. You would say about thirsting for God, you are talking about loving the things that God loves. You are thirsting about God is prioritizing your life according to the will of God. Let me say this. Can you see, look at me, all of you right, right now. Because I will say this, and this is actually because when you identify, 
When you identify the need of God, because as James is putting the next point for me, because this will be liberating for some people, mostly the secret of our need is being, needs being met is meeting God's need or needs. Hallelujah. Look at this, because the disciples, the disciples, when they went, the Bible talks about they had gone to look for food. They were actually given to their, their needs. But Jesus saw a need because Jesus saw the harvest that was about to come to Samaritans. But they were soaked and they were just lost in their own needs. And I pray in 2022, because the disciples lost their sight and they do not have the discernment that Jesus had another need. Because God has needs. Somebody say God has needs. And the moment you know how to meet the need of God is when your needs will be met. Glory be to God. What did Jesus sow? Jesus saw a harvest in Samaria and was looking for a vessel that he can use to go and go and evangelize in Samaria. And what did he get? He got a woman who was a lady who did not care about the title, a woman who did not care about her status, a woman who just knew I can carry the message, and she went and brought people or turn and turn all the people on that city to Jesus. Disciples did not be, were not able to discern the needs of Jesus. And I pray in 2022. May you, in the name of the Lord, as you are thinking about the needs, look for the needs in the house of God. Look for the needs in the society. As you try to meet the needs of Jesus, your needs will be met. Hallelujah. Somebody say amen. I say your needs will be met. Because if we're talking about the remembrance of our year of remembrance, even Hannah, when she was talking about looking for a child, God was not just looking for another child. Because there were many children, God was looking for a usable child. Because Eli had been, you know, had been swallowed by their own needs. While Eli, the lesson why Eli and his priesthood was, God did not use it any longer because they were just thinking about themselves. Somebody say amen. And I pray in Jesus' name that you will be set free from that spirit of selfishness and thinking about me, mine, and myself in the name of the Lord. Somebody say hallelujah. Somebody say amen. God is looking for somebody who is usable. Amen. And when you identify the need, then you will know. And let me say this because I'm not going to preach for a long time, but listen to me, because uh, the Bible says uh, that, uh, you know, the, the second, first, first, first Samuel, first Samuel chapter 2 and, verse, for 2 and verse 35, the Bible says, I will raise up for myself, Come on, let's lead all of us together, I will raise up for myself a faithful priest, who will do according to what is in my heart and mind. I will firmly establish his priestly house and they will minister before my anointed one always. I will raise up for myself a faithful priest, somebody who is usable. Hallelujah. God was not, you know, God was not looking for people. He was looking for a usable person. And I want to pray this in the name of Jesus. Whatever you have, if you are going and listen to me as your prophet, listen to me as a man of God, because most of the time, sometimes we are looking for the key to the next level. Hallelujah. Amen. We are looking for the key to the next level. I want to say this. And when I'm talking about the need, I'm not just talking about the need in the house of God. I want you to capture the heart of God. Whether it is a poor person you'll be raising, whether it's a child you'll be educating somewhere, God will lay burden on your heart from today. And if you'll be able to tap into it, it will be your door to the next destination in the mighty name of the Lord. They did not believe me on this side, but let me tell you because I have told you several times, you will know the difference between a child and a mature person. How do you know? Because a child always say, give me, give me, give me, give me. But let me tell you, if you're only going to be given, you'll be at the mercy of the person who is giving you. But God wants to make you like an Abraham. Somebody say amen. Who will bless you and you become a blessing. Because I told you last time when I was here, I told you there is no pipe that passed on water without being wet. You can never be a blessing. You can never be a blessing until you are blessed. Why don't you 
will receive that blessing and that grace in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Receive it in the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Because let me tell you something. I, when I went to, you know, after a couple of days, hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Let me tell you, if I have come to know in the last 21 days without eating, the spiritual world is very, very, very real. <laughs> Very, very, very real. And let me tell you, let me tell you something. And this is delivering, this is real, real, real to somebody. I called the first time I had God and I had a visitation. I dreamt of this. I dreamt of this. We were in a, we were in a, in like a, you know, like a bus. Like a bus. You know, I don't know back, back home it would make more sense because it's like a taxi. And a taxi, because it's supposed to take people. And most of the time when it, you talk about a, 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 a car, you are talking about direction, you are talking about destiny, you are talking about vision, you are talking about goal, goals. And let me say this, we were just packed. We were packed, the car was full. And these, the touts, the, you know, the tout, you know, tout, yeah? Conductors, conductors. They kept on piling old things that were unnecessary in this journey. And I got very angry. And I told them, we have to go, and we have to go now. And when I woke up, the Lord told me, it is a spirit of delay. Because most of us, we have what it takes. Most of us, we are educated. Most of us, we are beautiful girls. Most of us, we have attained a certain maturity of marriage. We have what it takes. But the enemy has been delaying you. Glory be to God. And I say this in the name of the Lord. Whatever belongs to you, in the name of Jesus, for the last 21 days, we have been battering. And we have been saying this in the name of the Lord. No more delays. Did you hear what I said? No more delays. Thank you, Father, in the mighty name of Jesus. Glory be to God. Amen. Amen. I told you I don't know how this service will be. But let me tell you in the name of the Lord. If you are ready for marriage and you have not been married. I say this here. You shall be married. Because it is the morning power. And they have come to derail you. In the mighty name of the Lord. Amen. Glory be to God. If you want a child. I declare in the name of Jesus. In this season you will get it in the name of the Lord. Glory be to God. You have what it takes. You have put your heart on the prow. You have invested in your life. And the demonic power have been sabotaging you. Because the other thing the Lord told me, there are many people here who their destiny have been changed in the spiritual realm. I declare in the mighty name of Jesus. I declare in the name of Jesus. Whatever belongs to you, we destroy every demonic system and everything that has been working against you. We roast you in the mighty name of the Lord. We release you in the name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus. Name of Jesus. Glory be to God. Glory be to Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I don't know, let me tell you, but please receive it. Because the other, today I had three dreams. And listen to me, because I've never dreamt like the way I've dreamt. James, and I could see, I told my wife this morning when I woke up, I saw a woman. I saw a woman, and this woman was carrying a very heavy road. Very, very heavy road. And she was just walking around like this. She is not going forward. She is not going backward. And there are some laws that the morning power have put on you in the spiritual realm. And I come against them in the mighty name of Jesus. And I set you free. I set your children free. I set your career free. I set your business free. I set your marriage free. I set whatever you have free in the mighty name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus, today is the day of somebody's deliverance. Today is the day of salvation. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Amen. Listen to me. God is looking for a person. And I believe they are in this house. If I were you, I would say I am the one. If I am say, nobody is taking my place. Hallelujah. Amen. But listen to me, and this is one area 
that God opened my eyes because we always talk about Hannah. And I believe Hannah was a gracious and wonderful woman. But the Holy Spirit opened my eyes to see something that I have never seen before. And the, what it says in, uh, in, in, in 1 Samuel chapter 1 and verse 10. And this will be deliverance for somebody when you catch it in the name of the Lord. The Bible says, and she was in, bitter, or she was in bitterness of soul. Somebody say amen. She was in bitterness of soul and prayed the Lord and wept in anguish. Hallelujah. And the Holy Spirit was asking me, how can a bitter soul be able to give a righteous son? Hallelujah. How can a bitter soul? And I do not know because when I believe probably most of us, our anger because of some people who offended us. Hallelujah. And listen to me. The Bible says that so, you know, Hannah was of bitterness of heart. And listen to me, brothers and sisters. Come on, listen to me right now in the name of the Lord. Whenever you have a bitter heart, the greatest need the Holy Spirit revealed to me about Hannah, she needed her heart to be cleansed. Amen. She needed a cleansed, you know, let me tell you, even Naaman, the greatest problem of Naaman was not the plague. It was the heart because Naaman had an attitude of pride. And most of us, when we come to the house of God, there is something we have given an enemy a foothold. And I want to say this in the name of the Lord. I'm not talking about that you have not been wronged. Some of you, there are some people who God told me here, especially some ladies who you don't have a good relationship with your father. Some of you right now, as we are talking, there are some people you don't want even them to be measured at your ears. Listen to me, when you forgive somebody, you are not doing them a favor. You are releasing yourself from the bondage they have put you and receiving what God has for you in the name of Jesus. And listen to me, don't make a monument of your pain. Listen to me. Don't keep on talking about what you have been done. If you are not very careful, come on, somebody say amen. If you don't be careful, you can become like that man who was in the, you know, who was in Bethesda for 38 years. Must you always complain? Must you always, must you always be weeping? Now come on now. Don't you have a vindicator? You have a vindicator. What will be explaining do to you? Somebody hurt you. Somebody broke your heart. Some of you, it is a girlfriend who left you. You are married right now, and you still hold them grudge. Come on, somebody say amen. Some of you, you are right now, and you know, that as they have heard you, they, have heard, they, they broke your heart, they broke your heart, and they moved on with their life, and they left with your heart. Today is the day of receiving your heart back in the mighty name of the Lord. And I'm not saying it is not painful, but I'm not saying, I'm saying the pain they have caused is not even worse than what you could have received, and you are not receiving in the name of Jesus. And listen to me right now, in the name of the Lord, you have to forgive. And some of them, let me tell you, if you forgive, if you forgive, it will be the key to the next level of your life. In the mighty name of Jesus. Somebody say amen. Somebody say amen. And Hannah had to learn how to forgive Penina. You are not going to change anybody by being bitter against her. They are only taking advantage of you. Somebody say amen. And listen to me, the reason why I'm saying this, because I know many people, destiny would have been better. But because of bitterness of soul, most of us, we have been wounded, we have been strutted, we have been, we have been rebuked, we have done all many things. But you have to learn how to do this. How to do this. Somebody say amen. You learn how to release in the name of Jesus. Am I saying that thing, you know, you know, as I have heard me say it again, even somebody when they tell you I'm sorry, sorry does not solve problem. It does not solve problem. It just gives you a release. And that a release that is only what you do. Today be the bigger person. Today be the bigger person. Amen. And you release in the mighty name of Jesus. Come on, somebody say amen. You release in the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Look what the Bible says. I'm bringing this to a close because I want us to spend some time to in prayer. The Bible says, and in First John chapter 4 and verse 4, I love this because this is how the scripture started. And he had to go through Samaria. And he had to go through Samaria. Hallelujah. He had to go through Samaria. Now listen to me, because if you read the scripture, you'll find that the Jews never wanted anything to do with the Samaritan. Most of the time, they walked a very long way because they did not want to pass through Samaria. But the Bible says, but Jesus had to go 
through Samaria. And listen to me. You cannot assess the direction of your life by comparing yourself with somebody else in 2022. The way is not your way. Somebody say amen. The way is not your way. If Jesus would have said other people passed through the other side, that's how I'm going to pass. He would have missed God. Amen? He would have missed God. And to 2022, come on now, are you hearing me? 2022, there is a way God has designed for you. They might not, God will get you to your destination, but not in the other way that other people follow. And you should be comfortable with that. Come on, somebody say amen. Because let me tell you, there are some things that God will allow us to go through. Because God is not always interested in me getting there. He is also interested on, in me on how i going to get there. Because let me tell you, when Joseph was taken through the long route, the Bible says it's because of immaturity. God has to make him sure that he go take sure that he go the wrong route because if you read first Samuel chapter 17 every time that Joseph will see something do something silly he will come and tell the father if he could have gone to the throne with that kind of attitude he will never have settled but God had to mature him therefore God had to take him a longer route than other routes because God was concerned about his heart even David somebody say amen and therefore 2022 somebody say amen 2022 God or God if God takes you another route, you just say amen. Because when I get there, I will bless the Lord because of all the pain that I have gone through because it will be forgotten when I get to my destination in the mighty name of the Lord. Amen. When I get there, I'll be there full. When I get there, I'll be there complete in Jesus' name because Lord is taking care of this heart in the name of Jesus. Amen. And I want to say this in the name of the Lord. May you receive the grace in the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Amen. Because because when God, when you get to your destination, it will be well, it will be packed, it will be gracious, it will be a blessing in the mighty name of Jesus. Hallelujah. And we say whatever and whichever way the Lord wants to take us in the mighty name of Jesus. We will say amen. I say we will say amen. Hallelujah. And sometime, 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 you have to let God has his way. I said you have to let God has his way. Amen. And sometimes, let me tell you, when you are going through those valleys that nobody understands, please keep quiet. Turn to your neighbor and tell, neighbor, please keep quiet. Please keep quiet. Please keep quiet. Amen. If it's of God, it will stand. Somebody say, if it's God, it will stand in the mighty name of the Lord. Hallelujah. So even if you go through the valley, he will be there with you. When you go through the mountain, he will give you the grace. When you cannot take another step, he will carry you through in the name of Jesus. Amen. When the sun goes down, he will be your strength. And I say this in 2022, nothing will shake you. Nothing will put you down in the mighty name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Are you hearing what I'm talking about this morning? Are you, talking, are you hearing what I'm talking about this morning? God is gracious. I say God is gracious. I say God is good. I say God is wonderful. I say God is marvelous. In the mighty name of Jesus. So this year of God remembrance, I declare in the name of Jesus, no demon will be able to put you down. Hallelujah. In the mighty name of Jesus. Come on right now. Let's all walk, stand up on our feet right now. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. As I asked James to put for us Isaiah 25 and verse 7. Isaiah 25 and verse 7. We're going to spend more some time right now to declare some stuff in the mighty name of Jesus. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. 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 Ramashanda Raraburia Mazaka Ikanda Rebatia. Merekatai Ramari Zai Kabana Ruka Taisi. Rimama Shanda Raraburia Mazia Bakanda. Hallelujah. In the mighty name of Jesus. The scripture. Come on now. The scripture. <laughs> this scripture the Lord gave me. Hallelujah. And I want us to pray in the rhyme with this, part, with this scripture. Hallelujah. Come on, let's lead all of us together. He will destroy. Come on, come on now. He will destroy in this mountain. The face of the covering cast over all people and the veil that is spread over all nations. Hallelujah. In your family. Glory be to God. In your business. In this church, whenever you hear the word mountain, the mountain start of a church. Amen. And God is saying on this mountain, which mountain? The mountain of higher heights. The Bible says there is a sheet 
that is spreading all over nation. In fact, other scripture says the, the veil of death. Hallelujah, in the name of the Lord. Come on, somebody say amen. And let me tell you, whatever you see in the physical always happens in the spiritual first. So when we fight our battle in the spiritual, our physical reciprocate what is happening in the spiritual realm. And I say this in the name of Jesus. You see, when they talk about death, we are not talking about this of life. It is frustration. It is lack of life in the name of Jesus. Amen. And we are going to raise our voices high in the name of the Lord. Amen. Come on now. One, two, three. I want us to raise our voices right now and declare in Jesus' name the veil that is upon your family, upon your business. Come on now. The veil of death. Hallelujah. Hallelujah, in the name of Jesus. Come on, open up your mouth right now. In the mighty name of Jesus. Say, ask the praise and worship to come here. In the name of the Lord. Come on now, open up your mouth. In the mighty name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus in the mighty name of Jesus in the mighty name of Jesus Rikatara Mama Zama Baba Bayanda Reketeria Mazia Bakanda Raya come on now in the mighty name of Jesus cast down bring down every sheep that is covering you in the covering in the mighty name of the Lord Rakasiti Amazaka Baba Bakayana Reketeria Razia Bakanda Razia Mama Barama Mama Mazerema Mandelia Bakanda Rashana Reketerema Mama Zia Bakara Come on now in the mighty name of Jesus. Engage, 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 engage. Tear down, tear down the spread. Tear down the sheep. Tear down the covering of your life in the name of the Lord. Tear it down. Tear it down. Tear it down in Jesus' name. Over your business, over your children, over your family. In the mighty name of the Lord. Jesus, 
Psalms 125 and verse 3. Psalms 125 and verse 3. My brother, my sister, if you are not doing spiritual warfare here, I mean, we, 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 are, we are taking destinies back. Amen. We are receiving it back in the name of the Lord. Amen. We are setting ourselves for 2022. Oh, yeah. This is not about me or you. This is about me. This is about my destiny. This is about claiming what the enemy has stolen. The Bible says since the days of John the Baptist until now, the kingdom of God suffered and violence. And men of violence take it by force. And you understand our weapons are the words of our mouth. Because your words are spirit and alive. Even if you have ever prayed, repeat what I have said, but you have to open your mouth in the mighty name of the Lord. Look what the Bible says. The scepter, hallelujah, of wickedness shall not last on the land. The, the land of the righteous, amen. So the righteous will not reach out their hands to do long, amen. The scepter of the wickedness shall not last on the land, amen. Put for me in King James, amen. Put for me in King James. The scepter of the wicked shall not last on the land and rotted to the righteous, amen. The rod of the wicked shall not last upon the lot of the righteous, amen. And I want to say this in 2022 whatever belongs to you, yeah. the scepter means authority. Yes. No authority we are right upon what is yours in the mighty name of jesus Amen. come on right now in the name of the lord open up your mouth declare in the mighty name of jesus declare in the name of the lord they will fight you and they will not prevail they will try to resist you they will not succeed in the mighty name of jesus destroy every wicked destroy every scepter in the mighty name of jesus it will not rest on your money it will not rest on your children it will not rest on your destination it will not rest on your opportunity in in the mighty name of the Lord, the Kasiya Makanda, the Keketeri Maizia, the Kasiya Maizia, the Keketeri Maizia, the Kasiya Maizia, the Keketeri Maizia, the Kasiya Maizia, the Kasiya Maizia, the Keketeri Maizia, the Kasiya Maizia, the Kasiya Maizia, the Remove every scepter, remove every scepter, remove every scepter, remove every scepter, every authority, every power of the devil in the name of Jesus. Remove it, remove it, remove it in Jesus' name. The Kataira Masia Bana, the Keteria Zia Bakana, the Kataira Bari Shana, the Keteri Masia, Bari Katai Mara Haba, the Keteri Rani Sidi, Rasha Taibania Kaya, Hallelujah, Hallelujah, Glory be to God, Glory be to Jesus, Glory be to God, the Kasai Bana Ratia, Zura Masha, the Keteri, Bari Katai Rani, Bari Katai Rani, Bari Katai In the mighty name of Jesus, we are receiving back. We are receiving back in the 
And you have to, you have to tear down, you have to overthrow, you have to destroy, and uh, the fourth one, you give him four things to do before he planted. Somebody say amen. So before we plant, we have to destroy. Because the Bible says in, uh, in, 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 in Luke chapter 17 and verse 8, Luke chapter 17 and verse 8, come on, good for us there, because uh, Luke 17 and verse 8, amen. Hallelujah. Look what the Bible says. Look at, and, and we will not him say to, and, and we will not rather say unto him, make let the where with. Uh, no, la, la, what is it? Is this 17, 17 and verse 6? Sorry, 17 and verse 6. 17 verse 6. And the Lord said, Hallelujah. If you had faith as grain of master seed, you might say unto this, Sir, Sir, Sycamine tree, Psycho but thou pluck up by the root, no, no. and thou shalt be planted, uh, be the, and shall and be thou planted in the sea, and they shall obey you. And there is another scripture that says, any tree that the Lord did not plant, mm. it shall be uprooted. Somebody, yeah. Actually, that was the scripture that I was looking for. And the Bible says, when, yeah, Matthew chapter 13, and the Bible says, when people were asleep, I mm. mean, and I believe they sleep, is the spiritual, spiritual slumber. Mm. Because when you are asleep, the Bible says, and the enemy came and planted some tales. Yes. Amen. And I want to say this in the mighty name of the Lord. Hallelujah. This time, we are going to uproot everything in your family, everything in your bloodline, that when your family were asleep, the enemy came and planted. Somebody say amen. We are going to uproot sickness. We are going to uproot death. We are going to uproot premature death. We are going to uproot barrenness in the mighty name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Amen. Somebody say amen. amen. Glory be to God. Amen. Hallelujah. Everything that the Lord did not plant. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Are we ready to uproot? Yes, sir. Are we ready to uproot? Yes, sir. Are we ready to uproot? Yes, sir. Come on, somebody say amen. amen. Uproot disobedience, uproot death, uproot, uproot anything that the Lord did not plant. Hallelujah. 
the mighty name of Jesus. Now having uprooted, now having destroyed. I want James to put for us Isaiah 61 and verse 10. This is what the Bible says. Isaiah 61 and verse 10. Glory be to God. Hallelujah in the name of the Lord. Hora shanda na na buna. Berekata irasi ya bana rila. Berekata irari ya sanda na na buna. Hallelujah in Jesus name. Glory be to God. Isaiah 61 and verse 10 is James there. Hallelujah in the name of the Lord. Rika sanda ibori kasha babona. Lekete ribasi ya bakanda ribori ya shanda. Is James or India there? Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. Okay. Somebody jump in there and put for me Isaiah 61 and verse 10, please. Isaiah 61 and verse 10. Yeah. I will greatly rejoice in the Lord my soul, will exalt my God, for he has clothed me with the garment of salvation. He has covered me with the robe of righteousness as a bridegroom decks himself with a garland and as the, as the bride adorns herself with her jewels. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. How many of us have been clothed by garment of righteousness and glory in the mighty name of the Lord? Hallelujah. You want to declare right now, this year I will walk in glory. Come on, somebody say amen. This year I walk in victory. Hallelujah. Come on, open up your mouth right now in the mighty name of Jesus. Declare in the mighty name of Jesus. This is the year of your victory. This is the year of your victory. Your children will walk in victory. You will walk in glory. Everywhere you're gonna be in 2022. Say in the name of the Lord. I will rejoice this year in the Lord. Hallelujah. Wherever I will be, they receive the joy of the Lord. You will rejoice. This year you will not weep. This year you will not cry. In the mighty name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus. Come on now. Every one of us. Every one of us. I want us to engage in prayer. Forget about singing. Come on now. In the name of the Lord. In the mighty name of Jesus, declare for yourself, declare for yourself, this year, you are pronouncing, you are planting seed for 2022, this year, I will rejoice in the Lord, this year, I will rejoice in the Lord, in the name of Jesus, I will be strong with the garment of his salvation, everywhere you're going to fall, the Lord will cover you with his salvation, in the mighty name of the Lord, those who will fight you, they will not win, they will not put you down in the mighty name of the Lord. Hallelujah. The Cassia Bakaya, the Cassia, the Cassia, the Cassia, the Receive in the name of the Lord. Receive in Jesus' name. Receive in Jesus' name. Receive in Jesus' name. Jewels of faith. Jewels of faith. Your salvation will be beautiful. Your marriage will be beautiful. Your family will be beautiful. Your health will be beautiful. Yes, in the name of Jesus. Yes, in the name of Jesus. Yes, in the mighty name of Jesus. We win, we win, we win, we win, we win. I shall win this year. I shall win this year. In the mighty name of Jesus, in the mighty name of Jesus, glory be to God. Hallelujah. Amen. There are scripture. There are scripture. We are doing spiritual warfare. We are doing spiritual warfare. Hallelujah. This is the climax of what we have been fasting for. Amen. And I'm not going the, that, uh, that, that, that door the way I came. I came because I want the Lord's touch in my life. Hallelujah. After all that we have gone through, 2021, 2022 cannot be the same in the mighty name of Jesus. Actually, I also want like now, Isaiah 10 and verse 11. Isaiah 10 and verse 11 as well. Hallelujah. In the mighty name of the Lord. Come on now, somebody who is right there. Isaiah 10 and verse 11. Hallelujah. In the name of Jesus. Isaiah. Amen. Hallelujah. Rakasa, Isaiah, Isaiah 60 and verse 11, sorry. Isaiah 60 and verse 11. Hallelujah. Amen. Thank you. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Rama Shandari Borian Kaya. 
Barikeri baza kabana ikatia Lekete ni mori sana nilari ya paradabaya Barikata ile barisi ya mana nilanda Reba baba zita ika Isaiah chapter 60 and verse 11 And your gates shall be open continually Hallelujah. They shall not be shut Yes Day or night Amen. That men might bring to you the wealth of the nation Hallelujah. and their kings led in procession. Amen. Hallelujah. Come on now. I want Amen. us to confess the scripture right now in the name of the Lord. Amen. Your gates will always stand open. Amen. Amen. And they will never be shut day or night. Amen. Hallelujah. Rabakata Ramasanda. Open up your mouth right now in the name of Jesus. Glory be to God. Say my gates. Hallelujah. Shall not be shut. Shall not be shut. night. Hallelujah. And the demonic power that wants to shut your gates. Today we arrest them. Today we arrest them in the mighty name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus. Today we arrest them. Today we arrest every demonic power that wants to stand on your gates. They shall not prevail. They shall not prevail. Standing on the gates of this church in the mighty name of the Lord. I command, I command, my doors, I command doors to open. Release it. Release it. Release it. Release it. Release it. Release it. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Rakata imasiya bakanda. Day and night, they shall remain open. Day and night, they shall remain open. Yes, in the mighty name of Jesus. Rakata rabaya. Even the day of higher height, they will remain open. Nobody will close them. Nobody will shut them. In the mighty name of Jesus. That the king may be well. Yes, in the name of the Lord. This is our king may be well. Rakata ndaraba. This is our our In the mighty name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus. The mighty name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Raise your hands up right now. In the name of the Lord. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. I declare in the mighty name of Jesus. You are gates. 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 Hallelujah. Shall not be closed. No demonic power. No altar that have ever risen against you. We will be able to rise against you any longer. In the mighty name of Jesus. We declare day or night. Whether the good time or the bad time, they will not overtake you. They will not be able to outwit you. In the mighty name of Jesus, I declare right now, they will remain open perpetually. In the mighty name of Jesus, we have sealed it in the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. And I declare right now, if the world could be standing for the thing that you need. And I declare right now, I call the east, I call the west. I call the north and the south in the name of Jesus to bring their possession into your hands in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. I lose destinies. I lose careers. I lose families. I release marriages. I release children. I release health in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. The name of the Lord. Now listen to me. Hallelujah. As you raise your hand right now in the name of the Lord, I take the sheep that have been spread over your family. In the name of Jesus, the sheet of death, hallelujah. Even COVID will not hit you. In the mighty name of Jesus, wherever there was dead, hallelujah, in business, I speak life. Wherever there was dead in a relationship, I speak life. Wherever there was a dead between families, I speak life in the name of Jesus. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. And if there is a man, if there is a woman, Hallelujah, here in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Who you are going through some crisis because of a relationship. I arrest anything that is between you and your husband or anything between you and your wife in the name of Jesus. This year, in this year, wherever you have suffered, you're gonna get especially that which is legal and that which is right for you. You will hear a story. Somebody will reap where they are and they will come to you in the mighty name of the Lord. Hallelujah.
Sanda Ibariere, Marekaira Basi Abakanda. In the mighty name of Jesus, I declare that you are blessed. I declare that you are blessed. I declare that you are blessed. In the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. In the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Glory be to God. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Let me pray some few prayers as we are coming to an end. Right now, in the name of the Lord, I believe the first dream that I had have a lot to do with the people and the disciples and the people who are named after certain people that normally shall go through the same fate in the name of Jesus. Glory be to God. Right now, in the name of the Lord, lift up your hands right now. We curse your names. Yes, we curse your names Amen. with the blood of Jesus. Amen. Every altar yes. that have been crying against you, yes. we disconnect them. We disarm them. Amen. They are not going to connect with the God they have been crying to in the name of Jesus. It shall be from today. The Bible says when the, the prophet of Baal, they try to contact their God, they could not be able to connect because we disconnect every yes. connection between that altar and their powers. In the mighty name of Jesus, Amen. I set you free from Amen. today in the name of Jesus. Amen. I grant your names with the blood of Jesus Amen. and I declare whatever has been heard against you, from today you're going to realize it. Today you're going to get it. You will get married. It. Your name shall be well. You will get you dread. Whatever it was taken away from you, you will receive it from today without a fail in Jesus' name. Receive it right now. Receive it in Jesus' name. Receive it in the name of the Lord. Come on now in the name of the Lord. Some of you at a certain age, there are people who normally are lost in your family. From today, I take that spirit away and I declare in Jesus' name, I bless you with long life. 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 I silence cancer in the mighty name of Jesus. Arabashi Abakanda, Rekete Rebori Santari Aradia, Berekete Rebori Sete, Barikayanda Iraria Shanda. I silence every tumor in the mighty name of Jesus. No tumor in your bodies, no cancer in your bodies, nothing in the name of Jesus. Glory be to God. I set you free, you and your generation, in the mighty name of the Lord. Rakata Riboshi Abakanda. In the mighty name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Now, the last scripture that I'm going to talk to you right now. Are, are, you, are, are you tired? Are you tired? Okay. Put for me Isaiah 58 and verse 12. Isaiah 58 and verse 12. Hallelujah. Isaiah 58 and verse 12. Because we're going to create some inroads. We're going to create some streets, some doors. Because some of us, our generation have never ever entered in a certain realm. Some of us, we have never, our family have never enjoyed a holy matrimony. Some of us, we have never enjoyed what is called money because they are not street. And the Bible says we have to create these streets in the spiritual realm. Somebody say amen. Isaiah 58, come on now in the mighty name of Jesus. No, verse, verse 11, verse 11. Yeah. Amen. No, 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 this one, this one, this one. Amen. Hallelujah. Come on, all of us read together. Those from among you. Shall be on all waste places. You shall raise up the foundation for many generations, and you'll be called the repairers of the bridge, the restorer of the street to dwell in. Hallelujah. Amen. Now listen to me. Now listen, 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 listen. Before you rush. The reason why some of you have never realized some stuff, because they have never been in the spiritual realm, some street to get to certain destination. But today, hallelujah, somebody said today. Because you find that in your family, you suffer the same thing. But from today, we are going to create street in the heavenly places in the name of Jesus. And we are saying from today, we are going to go to some places. Amen. Whatever you desire from today, you say, in the spiritual realm, I create a street. Amen. To take me there in Jesus' name. Come on, raise up your voices right now. In the name of the Lord. Create those streets in the name of the Lord. Street of wealth, street of prosperity, street of good health in the name of Jesus. Amen. We create a street for this ministry to be a mega one in the mighty yeah. name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Yeah. No powers of hell shall be able to withstand this. No yeah. hell, no power, no power, no power, no power in the mighty name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Create those streets right now. Create those streets right now. In the mighty name of Jesus, in the mighty name of Jesus, Rakashanda Rabonia, Dedicate the Lelezia Banana, Marikayande Lelezini, Roko Tondo Roshini, Marakanda Ibari, Marakayanda Ibari, Mazoma Shanda, 
Malikaya Kaila Zenit. Yes, 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 yes. Treat, treat in the name of Jesus. Create those three right now. In the name of Jesus. Create them, create them. In Jesus' name. Glory be to God. Glory be to Jesus. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. In Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Mandala Sata Ibada. Berekata Ibada Shanda. Lifting our hands into the sanctuary. And telling the Lord, come and open, lift up your hands in the name of the Lord. Father, thank you. Thank you, Lord, for this one. Mighty God that you have given to us. We commit them into your hands. We pray for them, God. Some of them have suffered for too long. Some of them, they have been held against their will. Because they are authors that have been crying for their lives, for their children for their destiny and right now we silence every demonic voice every power from hell that have been fighting their destiny they have been fighting them they're fighting their children and causing the friction and pain and suffering from today in jesus name god as you told me lord you're gonna take on this service lord right now in jesus name lord have your way yes i release your blessing i release your blessing this from today Whoever they have been held their hands with, all generation curses, they have been broken. Cycles have been broken. In the mighty name of Jesus, I read them, oh God, to their destiny where you showed me, Holy Spirit, coming from uh, coming through uh, where there was great right. From today, there will be salvation. From today, there will be healing. The things that they have suffered for too long, they're going to recover everything they have lost and going to get in Jesus' name. I thank you, Heavenly Father. I thank you, Heavenly King, in Jesus' name. Amen. Hallelujah. 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 Amen. 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 Hallelujah. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Please, please, please be ministering more, more and more the coming week. There's something that the Lord has helped, also spoken to me. We're going to be speaking about this more and more. But one thing that I want to ask you, please, if you are battling with unforgiveness, God told me this is the greatest cancer that have held our blessing back. And the time to release it is now. And listen to me here, we are a family. We are a family. If you have somebody, and I'm not justifying it, but I'm just telling you the remedy of your situation. And you find it hard, I want you to stretch your hands high. And I want to ask grace to do that in Jesus' name. I know as a pastor, how it is sometimes to forgive because of pain that we afflict others and others afflict on us. But there's unusual grace right now. The thing that you could not be able to do, I want you to raise your hand up right now in Jesus' name. Raise your hand up right now. Raise it high. Raise it high. In Jesus' name. Devil is a liar. Relieve and receive that grace right now in Jesus name and as you release them may you gain your life back in Jesus name it's not by power it is not by might it is by the spirit of the living God may the Lord touch that heart heal that wood in Jesus name and you find it by his grace to be able to forgive and to release in Jesus name hallelujah Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. From today, you find it easy to do that. In Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Let me say this as well. You know, you know sometimes when God gives a word, don't care who is standing next to you. Yeah, don't stand. Right. Don't, you know, don't care. Don't care. You know your parent could be dead. Mm. And you know the thing they spoke about you. And they pierce your heart even after today. I'm your spiritual father. They cannot come back, but I can be able to change that in the name of the Lord. Amen. Come on, raise your hands up in the name of the Lord. If you know you have a parent that those words keep on haunting you, raise your hands up right now. Don't care who is standing next to you. That's none of their business. This is about your freedom and your liberty. Right now, in Jesus' name, I declare right now, in the mighty name of Jesus, you, God brought you here because Jesse could not bless you. But today, I repent on your behalf and I take the sacrifice of Jesus Christ 
to the altar of your pain. And I declare right now, in Jesus' name, I set you free. I set you free from words that have been declared, from the pain that have been afflicted on you. And I declare right now, in Jesus' name, may you be loosed. May you be loosed in the name of the Lord. And I declare you are bro the, the curse has been broken and you are set free in Jesus' name. You go to places that you have never been because God's grace is upon your life in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Come on, let's put our hands together and give God a clap offering in the name of Jesus. I believe it. You said it. It is done. Amen. Let's usher in the XP3. Praise God. So these are our, uh, our teenagers in the XP3 class. So today we shall be, I think it, should be, it, it is an offering session. So uh, we shall be doing the song, uh, praising God through a song that uh, the young ones, they chose the song. They did everything for us. It was just to provide the guidance. And how amazing it is for in a generation, in a country, in a land, in a place, in an era where the young ones, the teenagers, the, our youth are being silenced from the word of God and uh, they are being pushed away from the word of God. But for them, they have chose to stand in the word of God. Amen. And they've chose to declare forth the word of God in righteousness. I can see pastor is, is here. Sorry, I'm reminded something I just finished and I left and uh, I'm, I, we have been reminded it's time to give and to the Lord. Somebody say amen. We, we are want to give to the Lord and uh, uh, how many of us know that uh, an offering, as I have said there before, the greater your altar is according to the sacrifice you have paid. And I believe there are many things that are happening right now and we want to give God the glory as we take time now to give unto our Lord something not only something but what he have laid in our heart in the name of the lord as we welcome uh isaac god bless you sir is under fire Another way when the walls are closing in And when I look at the space between where I used to be and this reckoning I know I will never be alone There was another in the fire 
standing next to me There was another in the waters Holding back the seas And should I ever need reminding Of how I've been set free There is a cross that bears the burden Where another died for me There is another in the fire Left for dead beneath the waters. I'm no longer a slave to my sin anymore. And should I fall in the space between what remains of me and this reckoning? Either way, I won't bow to the things of this world. Cause I know, I know I will never be alone there is another in the fire standing next to me there was another in the waters holding back the seas and should i ever need reminding what power set me free there is a grave that holds no body now that power lives in me there is another in the fire oh, there is another in the fire darkness bows to him I can hear the roar in the heavens as the space between west and I can feel the ground shake beneath us as the prison was haven and nothing stands between us nothing stands between us There is no other name but the name that is Jesus. He who was, that still is, and will be through it all. So come what may in the space between all the things unseen and this reckoning. I know I will never be alone. be alone there'll be another in the fire standing next to me there'll be another in the waters holding back the seas and should I ever need reminding how good you've been to me I've come to joy come every battle cause I know that's where can see the light in the darkness as the darkness bows to him I can hear the roar in the heavens as the space between west and I can feel the ground shake beneath us as the prison walls cave in nothing stands between us nothing stands between us There'll be another in the fire Standing next to me There'll be another in the waters Holding back the seas And should I ever need reminding How good you've been to me I come the joy, come every battle Cause I know that's where you'll be Come the joy, come every battle, cause I know that's where you'll be. I'll come the 
joy come every battle Cause I know that's where you'll be I come the joy come every battle Cause I know that's where you'll be I come the joy come every battle Cause I know that's where you'll be Wow, wow, wow. Praise the Lord. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Come on, put our hands together. Praise the Lord. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. Praise Jesus. That was awesome. Amen. Amen. I'm just trying to do some housekeeping here. And uh, Dan, I don't... Eh? Oh, it's an announcement. Oh, Jesus. Okay. <laughs> I was too... All right, sir. While well, I was away. Sorry. <laughs> Hello. Welcome to High Heights Church, where we love, grow, serve, and make a difference. Our High Heights Super Kids services, that is the first loop, ages 2 to 6, 252 ages 7 to 10 and XP3 of ages 11 to 15 meet every Sunday from 11 a.m. to 12.30 p.m. Super Kids Global Online Service takes place via Zoom every second Saturday of the month from 2.30 p.m. to 3.30 p.m. GMT. A seamless youth service, a service of young people between the ages of 16 to 24 years, it takes place every Sunday from 11 a.m. to Everybody, my name is Bob. My name is Zaelia, and we, we are, are the Zunas. Zunas. And uh, we have been married for uh, two years and counting. some months, yeah, counting. <laughs> <laughs> we'll be hitting three years uh, this year around May, May 4th, right? Mm -hmm. Yes, and uh, through the years, uh, the little years that we've been married, we've seen God uh, being God, like uh, we've seen Him provide for us. Uh, clothing us, you know, feeding us. Uh, it has been, it has been God. Um, yeah, I, yeah, I've seen God in, in our marriage, in our union. Um, yeah, God has been great, to, gracious to us, and we wanna thank Him. Uh, yes, we have learned a lot. Yeah, and uh, the, the the good thing about this is that when you invest in your marriage, there's a lot of things that they come out because what you invest in is the one that comes out. Um, because uh, we, we decided that we will invest in on little things on our marriage, but we we'll invest many things in our marriage. Or on our families, the things that we can get, probably the houses, the cars and all this stuff that we believe God that can give us. 
profitable, the things that can be seen. But we want as well to invest in the marriage, the things that cannot be seen. And these are uh, forgiveness, integrity, you know, um, uh, love, you know, these are things that they cannot be seen. So we, we decided to invest more in our marriage uh, rather than spending a lot of uh, resources on the outside uh, because it is in the inside that we get flourish to we get to be fulfilled and as well to um to be fruitful in uh in in, in our marriage and we've seen uh we, 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 we've seen that and we're still seeing that so yes so uh on behalf of the marriage and the family ministry there's an event happening on the february 19th